As you can see, we want to calculate Kc, the equilibrium constant. We have a reaction between nitrogen gas, hydrogen gas to give us ammonium. The actual question reads as follows. 5 moles of nitrogen gas and 5 moles of hydrogen gas are sold in a 5 decimeter cube empty container. Equilibrium is reached at 450 degrees Celsius. Upon analysis of the equilibrium mixture, it is found that the mass of ammonia is 20.4 grams. Conclude the value of equilibrium constant at 450 degrees Celsius. We can see fairly quick that the initial number of moles of nitrogen gas is 5 moles. So we're going to go ahead and put that here. And then the initial number of moles of hydrogen gas is also 5 moles. So we're going to put that here. They are sealed in an empty 5 decimeter cube container. So the initial number of moles of ammonia is actually 0 moles. From there on, we are told that the mass of ammonia at equilibrium is 20.4 grams. So here at equilibrium, we have 20.4 grams. But the problem with that is that we actually need the number of moles and not the mass. So we have to convert that mass to number of moles. By saying that the number of moles will be equal to the mass divided by the molar mass. So that is going to be 20.4 divided by the molar mass of nitrogen that is 14 and then the molar mass of 3 hydrogen that will be plus 3. If you put that in your calculator you should get 1.2. Now we can say that the number of moles of NH3 at equilibrium is 1.2. What will be the number of moles of H2 at equilibrium? What will be the number of moles of N2 at equilibrium? If we use the balancing coefficients we can say that the number of moles of nitrogen gas will decrease by minus x, while the number of moles of hydrogen gas will decrease by minus 3x. But then ammonia, at the other hand, the number of moles are increasing, so they are increasing by plus 2x. Where am I getting the minus 3x and the plus 2x? I'm getting it from the balancing coefficients. The balancing coefficient of hydrogen gas is 3 and the balancing coefficient of ammonia is 2. The number of moles of nitrogen gas at equilibrium will then be equal to 5 minus x, while the number of moles of hydrogen gas at equilibrium will be 5 minus 3x. On the other hand, the number of moles of ammonia at equilibrium will be 0 plus 2x. But we have already deduced that that will be equal to 1.2. We know that this will be equal to 1.2. If 0 plus 2x is equal to 1.2, then what is the value of x? The value of x will clearly be 1.2 divided by 2, which is just 0 0.6. So here we have plus 1.2, here we're going to have minus 1.8, and here we have minus 0 0.6. That is because we know now that x is actually equals to 0 0.6. So the number of moles at equilibrium of nitrogen gas, 5 minus x, that will be 4.4 if x is equals to 0 0.6. On the other hand, 5 minus 3x, that will give us 3.2 and for ammonia we already know that we have 1.2 at equilibrium now we need the concentration at equilibrium how can we find the concentration at equilibrium we already have the numbers of moles so in order to find the concentration we just have to divide that by the volume the volume is given to us as 5 decimeter cube so we're going to use that 4.4 divided by 5 that will give us 0 0.88 3.2 divided by 5 it will be 0 0.64 1.2 divided by 5 that is 0 0.2 so now we can say that Kc is equal to the products divided by the reactants so based on our equation uh, we're going to have NH3, the concentration of NH3 at equilibrium to the power 2 because of the balancing coefficient divided by the concentration of N2, the concentration of N2 multiplied by the concentration of H2 to the power 3 again because of the balancing coefficient. So this will all be equal to the concentration of NH3 
at equilibrium that is 0 0.24 we square that and then divided by the concentration of n2 at equilibrium 0 0.88 multiplied by the concentration of h2 at equilibrium which is 0 0.64 to the power 3. If you put that in your calculator, you should get a KC value of 0 0.25.